In this video, I'm gonna be making the Duncan Hines Epic Cookie Dough Cookie Bar Kit. It includes sugar cookie mix, chocolate cookie mix, and cookie dough frosting. It was $4.98 at Walmart. You make this in, in different parts. For the sugar cookie mix, you need six tablespoons of melted butter and one large egg. And for the chocolate cookie mix, you need eight tablespoons of melted butter and one large egg. I'll open my box first and show you everything that's inside. Should be three things. Yes, three things. So we have our cookie dough. Uh, they're calling it cookie dough filling. Um, that's going to be your frosting. We're not going to do anything with that right now. You don't need that to the very end, so we're going to set that to the side. And then clearly, this is going to be your chocolate cookie mix. And this is going to be your sugar cookie mix. And it is labeled, just in case you're confused about that being chocolate, um, it is labeled as well. We're going to take our sugar cookie mix and pour it in the bowl with our six tablespoons of melted butter and the egg and stir until they're combined. have that combined now we're going to move on to our chocolate and I should have told you at the very beginning you need to preheat your oven to 350 degrees and you need to spray an 8 by 8 inch pan with a uh, cooking spray or you can use parchment paper so I'll show you what I did I put parchment paper I have little clips uh, but that is an 8 by 8 inch pan because I want to be able to pick these up at the end and just take them out and cut them easily. So this is your chocolate cookie mixture, uh, your chocolate cookie mix, and you want to pour in 8 tablespoons of melted butter and then your one egg and stir this together. to put these in our pan. Take your pan that you're gonna bake everything in. You're gonna take your sugar cookie mix and put it in the bottom of your pan first. And press this into the bottom of your pan. Might be better to do it honestly with my fingers. So I'm probably gonna do it that way. You want to take your your chocolate mix and put it right on top of your cookie mix your sugar cookie mix and I am placing this instead of just dumping the whole thing on there because I don't want to scoot my sugar cookie mix around so I'm trying to just I'll put it in there like this with the spoon and then I'll press it down Now, this needs to bake for 28 to 32 minutes until a toothpick inserted one inch from the edge of the pan comes out clean. It says add three to five minutes for a glass pan. I am using a glass pan, uh, which I want to take these off because we don't want those to catch on fire, uh, but I am using a glass pan. So I will add uh, three to five minutes. I will uh, bake mine for right at 32 minutes and then after it comes out of the oven I'll let you know how long it actually took. So the last step after you take it out, this is how it looks when it, you bring it out of the oven. I did bake it for an additional two minutes. So I've baked it for 34 minutes total because it wasn't a glass pan. The last thing you wanna do is you want to frost it once it's cooled with your cookie dough flavored filling is what they're calling it. It's the same thing as this cookie dough frosting. And I bought this, I'm gonna use this for a different project, but I just want you to see 
Um, if you decided to, uh, that you wanted to eat the cookie dough with something else, they do sell it. Um, but this, uh, Kevin noticed this too. On the picture, it looks like another bar. It doesn't actually look like frosting. So, I mean, there's an edge to that and everything where it looks like it, it just doesn't they look let like... let it dry out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I guess, they, yeah, they could have let it dry out. So what you want to do is you want to knead and squeeze before using, which I have done, and then you want to cut. It really doesn't matter how big uh, you cut the edge because you're going to frost the whole top. So I'm going to frost the top, and then I'm going to pull it out and cut these. So uh, you're going to use the whole thing. So really simple. I spread that out. It uh, they give you it. You have to do a very, 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 very thin layer uh, because not like that. It's not like that. <laughs> no, it's not like that. So I'm gonna pull this out, and this is why my pan's clean. This is why I use the parchment paper. It's just so I can do this, and so you can see it from the side. The layers. But now it is not it is not thick like theirs on the top. So I'm I don't know how many pieces you're supposed to get out of this. I'm just gonna cut it the way I would normally cut brownies. On the box it tells you how to make cookie dough cookie cupcakes yeah, as well. So um but the top, I still don't think you're ever going to get that much frosting. No, you're not. That's why, you know, if you want it to be as thick as that, you need to just buy the tub. And that tub of frosting that I showed you was like five bucks. It's, it's not cheap. I was thinking, I thought frosting was usually cheap. I thought was thinking... Like a dollar eighty nine usually. Yeah, I was thinking frosting was pretty cheap. That's, we bought it. We bought frosting recently for a dollar eighty nine. Well, that, that frosting was five dollar four ninety eight at Walmart. That's a Walmart price, and it, it was, was just five surprising. bucks. Yeah, it was expensive. So because you, know. you made something recently with uh, you made you bought the cake mix and the frosting. It was a dollar eighty something for both. I don't dollar eighty something yeah. for that. Oh, yeah. could it have been one of those uh, Oreo things or something? I don't know. Uh -huh. I don't know what it was. But anyway. I think it was the Oreo frosting. Oh well, yeah. yeah, big difference in price then. Uh, okay, 18 servings per container, and I got 16? 16. Okay, so an 18th, so it's going to be a little bit smaller than what I got mine, is uh, 260 calories for the prepared package. Now, that's saying you measure every little thing, so really you just need to enjoy it. And I got an edge piece. Mm -hmm. So this is cake and cake and frosting. Not browning. It's cake. It's sugar cookie and chocolate yeah. cookie. So I said cake. It's supposed to be cookie. Sorry, sugar cookie and chocolate cookie. It's not browning. I like the texture. Mm -hmm. There's a grittiness to it. Mm -hmm. And they're, they're kind of dense like a cookie would be. Um, I really like the frosting. Mm -hmm. I don't think they give you enough, but I like it. Mm -mm. I love the texture of that. That's where the greenest comes from, so that is enough frosting. Oh, is it? Mm-hmm. You know how cookie dough is kind of gritty? Ooh. A little bit. Oh, my gosh. But it's a little bit sugary. Yeah, so I was saying the cookie dough is the best part. It is. That is delicious. It's yeah, like if you're eating uh, raw. Yeah. <laughs> it's like eating um, when you get... Um, a roll and you eat it raw, mm -hmm. raw cookie That's dough. been somewhat melted because this is really like soft and creamy. It's not as firm as like cookie dough in a tube. You're right. That grittiness is all from that. Mm -hmm. Because yeah. that is the texture of like a regular cookie. I think just the bottom without the frosting mm -hmm. would not be nearly as good. The bottom tastes very buttery to me. And, add, and you do put a lot of butter in it. Mm -hmm. It is... Uh-huh. You use use more butter in I think the it's more butter than anything. Yes, you use more butter in the chocolate than you use in the bottom layer. Mm -hmm. But you really it tastes more buttery than sweet. 
you're getting all your sweetness from that frosting. Um, oh yeah, almost. But that very bottom layer, just the cookie layer, was mostly what I got just now. Mm -hmm. um, it's very good by itself. Mm -hmm. It's it's a good mix. It, it is a good mix. They kind of misrepresent how much frosting you get on top because I mean mm -hmm. that picture is ridiculous. It's like this thick. Mm -hmm. There's no way you're gonna get that thick on top. Of yeah. It. They probably used the whole pouch on those two pieces they took a picture of. Yeah, and to look at it, you really would think that that was a layer of like cookie. It looks mm -hmm. like chocolate chip cookie. It, does. it doesn't look like frosting, but it clearly says that it's frosting. Yeah. It lets you know that it's right. So they're not trying to be deceptive, but... They're I, being deceptive in the layer of thickness. Yeah, because there's no way you can get it that thick no. with the amount that they give you. You need to spread it really, really thin. And you need to make sure you're using an 8 by 8 pan because if we have 9 by 9 pans too. If you use the 9 by 9 Be thinner. Wow, yeah, it's going to be very, very thin. Um, well, I think it's good. And, and if you had frosting that thick, honestly, it would be so sweet you wouldn't hardly be able to eat it. But, um, I mean, I would enjoy it. But I'm saying it would be really, really sweet. It's a well-balanced the way it is. I think so, too. Yeah. I like it. I think it's, yeah, I I would think it's good. It. There's nothing wrong with that. How hard was it to make? I wasn't in here. It was easy to make. It, I made it different than I thought I would. I don't oh. know why. For some reason, I thought I was going to make the first layer and bake it. Um, and then, like which one. that doesn't make any sense. But I really have not made any layered things before. So I just didn't know how it worked. Mm -hmm. But that makes sense because then you would burn it if you had already yeah, baked that's it. True. Um, but you make it at the same time. And then just you, put it in there and put it all in there yeah, and bake it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and so it was really, really easy to make. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed the video. I will have a picture for you at the end. And thanks for watching.